let's see what's coming your way we do have the queen of cups in reverse cancer energy and the king of pentacles Taurus Virgo or a capricorn so might be an earth sign you are dealing with and they might not be just nurturing and loving and kind and close to you four of wands and the queen of cups i know right this marriage is becoming unstable we've invested in some solid roots um emotionally and uh four of pentacles in reverse somebody might be letting go right now it has this energy yeah it is the energy of taking a risk but i kind of feel that somebody is willing to let go to a very firm foundation that we've built um and it became hurtful what became ten of swords in reverse we let go of something in order to have some peace of mind some healing and um an energy of um you know finally being at peace the hierophant Taurus energy can be a Taurus but this speaks of your level of commitment the importance of family for your traditions um you know building something solid staying committed no matter what despite the eternal struggle five of ones right no matter what no matter how big the struggle marriage is marriage commitment what we built you know staying uh, together and the seven of cups in the reverse we have some clarity about it. we have a sense of understanding we narrow down options and we know they are the one and we want to stay committed no matter what but let's see what the universe is saying for us cancer bottom of the deck death scorpio energy and the nine of pentacles and the empress you know what don't be afraid cancer page of swords i so love this energy it's such a comforting energy i don't know for who they i wish i was a cancer today because the universe is really giving a comforting message to somebody first of all we do have the death i don't know if somebody died it has a strong energy of dying um but um you know can very well be um, the end of a commitment the end of a connection we have the death and the nine of pentacles we are single now right we are single we are independent we uh work for ourselves um right now we focus on probably the nine of pentacles how can how can i be financially independent stable and then we have the page of swords and the empress this is all about ideas of creation ideas of stability ideas of family ideas of um of an energy that is the most abundant ever existed and with the nine of pentacles is exactly that right so that is an ending but that is also a very smart idea and i for some of you i feel that you already have it nine of pentacles is the energy of the self-employed right is the energy of somebody developing a business starting something and going from zero to hero right because nine of pentacles is like you know solid financially or putting down roots in a, in terms of ideas to get uh wealthy and then we have the empress right just the spark of genius that brings you to the empress energy for some of you it's kind of like the universe comforting you that that is a gift an abundant gift in an ending uh i mean the empress and the death right is this energy of you know what you can be abundant you can be solid you can be independent you don't need anybody actually for you to be to get creative to get rich to get stable it's just the page of swords just a genius that genius idea your beautiful mind right your clear vision your smart plan it is a very comforting beautiful energy there okay for some of you expecting communication that is a sense of communication here after an ending but at the end of the day nine of pentacles with the empress is the energy of somebody being single and uh thriving right so so let's see um you know that you know my readings right past energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual current energy on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual and let's have the possible outcome for you the person you are dealing with and mutual bottom of the deck four of pentacles in reverse again um and we do have the lovers 
I kind of feel Six of Pentacles, swear to God, that is such a message, and the Queen of Swords. There is a strong message here, and the Ace of Cups, right? The new beginning, it was upright, so I'm going to take it. There is a message for somebody, um, Cancer. We do have the Four of Pentacles, and we have the Six of Pentacles, both of them in reverse. So it is the energy of taking a risk and letting go of something that was out of balance. We do have the Lovers, Choice head over heart you know yes it is love but then at some point if it's unstable if it's not generous and kind six of pentacles in reverse is the energy of not being kind not being gracious um you know the other person doesn't meet you halfway that is no reciprocation how about we get the queen of swords approach being smart about something and cutting the bs out and allowing this cup of love in ace of cups new beginnings in love and it's not by mistake that we got the death first card out, right? So let it die. Let's, let's you know, allowing things to be over. So Cancer, what have we got for the past energies? We do have the temperance and the wheel of fortune. I love the temperance. I kind of feel it has the energy of compromise. And I know it's healing and balancing and things. But we got stuck and then um, probably some of you, you know, uh, you want it out, they opted out, you opted out. And the temperance is like, okay, you know, um, coming to terms and um, negotiating an ending and negotiating coming out of a very stuck energy. Um, the temperance has such a, um, an open mind kind of energy, right? Of, of allowing differences and saying, you know what, let's have a win-win situation here. Let's be smart about something um, that was um, maybe pushed too far. You know, um, just saying it has an energy of, of somebody disrespecting you and not not coming from the heart as you were, right? Now, this person of yours, Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and the Five of Swords in reverse. So we had conflict and we had fights and you were the one with the temperance, right? Uh, balancing things out and saying, you know, let's find a solution. Let's um, resolve this conflict. And they showed up like the Knight of Swords, a little bit impulsive, rushed, reacting, right? Action and reaction. And um, doesn't have the energy of having a plan, but having a lot to say with the Five of Swords, right? It's also the energy of taking advantage of something. And I believe at some point... You know, when we got stuck in way too deep into this, um, you know, we decided, and I feel it's more on your side, Cancer, right? Looking at things and saying, we should balance this out and, um, and opt out here. Mutual energies between the two of you, the King of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. Unfair, first of all, lack of effort. So somebody stopped working and focusing on this connection. Somebody, I'm sorry, I'm hearing give somebody was not giving a damn so i don't know right i don't know who is not giving a damn but i definitely know that the other person had a sense of unfairness and unjust and a, a feeling of i don't deserve this um this is cold um not reciprocated and um and um we need to do something about it, right it, it has also an energy cancer where somebody was dancing around the truth um, because King of Swords is a big liar. If upright is all about speaking the truth, no matter the price. Um, in reverse is the energy of skating and avoiding the truth and also avoiding the truth of I'm not putting effort into this. I don't, you know, I'm no longer involved as, I, as I'm expected to. Um, so Cancer, where are we right now? We do have the Knight of Cups in reverse and we do have the Devil, Capricorn Energy. Um, but it has this energy of staying in the light. Maybe emotionally we are not just um, there yet. Knight of Cups in reverse is a little bit, um, you know, a little bit of fatigue and a little bit of emotions all over the place. Uh, but most certainly we get away of a dynamic. We distance ourselves from a dynamic that was toxic, um, um, inappropriate, um, it has a sense of jealousy in it. It has a sense of um, lying and shadows. And now we know better. You know, we know better. We really balanced the scales in the past. And now, now we are detaching and having a, a broader perspective of what's going on. And, 
and we know they have work to do, right? The devil and the five of swords, honestly, it's a lot of jealousy. It's a lot of um, um, accusations, right? Um, five of swords is a lot of um, back and forth uh, verbal kind of struggles and with the devil, maybe verbal abuse and stuff. So it was a tough time. It was in the past. Thank God is over, right? And God is over and I kind of feel that you are detaching and, and seeing things way and seeing the value if we have to go back right we know we always have to connect with the overall energy and that is a gift in being single that is a gift in this being over that is a possibility of developing something smart and creative and abundant um, in this right and making a choice we know we still love them um, cancer with the lovers we know but it's letting go of something that it's not worthy of your energy. Now this person of yours, they do have the Four of Cups, not paying attention, but they might be focused on work at this time. Learning a skill, trying to uh, study something, trying to develop something, focused on their pentacles and stability. It has this energy of starting from scratch, so maybe they are in um, quite an unstable place at this time, knowing it very well. And with the Eight of Pentacles is like, you know, figuring out the next steps here. And I feel it's more on their side, because when it comes to this connection, they are not just there yet, you know, they are not paying attention. And uh, mutual energies between the two of you, we do have the Tower and the High Priestess in reverse, revelations and disruption. Or because we, we had revelations and secrets coming out and, and finally seeing for what this is, we also have disruption because the universe is saying we have to take you out of here. This is not where you need to be. We have a different path. I love the Tower is the divine intervention. Um, and it is actually, right, breaking in small pieces, your whole universe. Because, you know, the High Priestess, we, we were not aligned, we were not on the path. We were not as above, so below, right? We completely, so for some reason, we were not listening to what we um, needed to hear at some point, right? Not to the intuition, not to your higher self, not to your spiritual path. We are no longer paying attention and being attached. Um, actually, to the devil energy, to the wheel of fortune in reverse. And again, wheel of fortune means when we go with the flow and we allow, right? And we watch and we see and we use our, um, you know, inner wisdom, our inner knowing, um, and we allow it to flow. But we we tried to stop the flow of the universe with the will of fortune in the past we tried we tried and probably you did this by compromising and saying you know what um and and then the universe said you cannot stop me from um you know uh, putting you on the right path and and that's how we got the tower and that is abundant in disruption there is a tremendous amount of abundance in disruption so it's kind of like trusting what's going on um, so Cancer, love is coming. The outcome of this, of all of this, of all this mess is lovers, Gemini energy and the chariot. We have you a little bit upside down and a little bit in reverse. Um, we have a little bit like, you know, rebuilding, but love is coming your way. I wouldn't doubt it for a second. Now this person, Justice in reverse, Libra energy, and the Three of Cups in reverse, of course, they don't like it. Of course, the outcome of this is uh, them not being happy um, and feeling that it was so unfair, so unjust, and so undeserved, whatever explosion happened between the two of you, and um, but staying in their own energy, right? Staying in their own energy. Mutual energies between the two of you, we do have the King of Cups, which is you, and the Nine of Cups. We don't want them. Um, Cancer, we so don't want them, and we open up to love. And again, that is abundance in endings, and that is abundance in disruption. And uh, new beginnings and brilliant ideas. And it has, like the universe saying, in the past, you were stuck and preventing the universe to bring blessings your way. This is the past energy by compromising, by opening up, saying, you know, maybe that is a solution and and holding on to. Right now, we disconnect a little bit, right? 
we let the devil go we let the toxicity go we let the person go overall energy six of pentacles four of pentacles letting go to something that we of something that once was you know very dear to us and giving us a sense of safety and security well it was a devil energy it was not true it was not real right kind of like the universe it was not solid and love is coming our way yeah in kind of a um, surprising shape or form I would say right but uh, but coming but coming and it's not from this person I mean they are going through um, it feels like a very unfocused energy, you know? They go from fights and conflicts and rushing in to a need for stability but not paying attention to it and then a sense of injustice and being feeling like they are victim of everything over here, you know? And I don't feel your energy is focused towards love and abundance and blessings in the endings. So, I love this. Now let's... um. And I'm not seeing love, but, um, you know, doesn't mean my uh, be, you know, the energies may be very raw at this time. I'm not seeing a lot of love, but I'm seeing new beginnings in love. So, um, but let's ask for some guidance, right? The question is always the same. Should we say yay? Should I say nay? We move on. We let them go. What are we supposed to do? And we do have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time, it says together. So... For some of you, they are still close to you, and uh, this is what we're going to have them for holidays. But guess what? It's unrequited love. That is not enough, enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. We have free yourself. Maybe it's a... <laughs> You know what? We got enjoy the bliss of holiday time. So maybe it's the universe wishing you happy holidays, by the way. It's December, right? <laughs> Maybe not together, but are you kidding me? It says unacquainted love for yourself and yet enjoy the bliss of holiday. So make sure you, you make the most out of it. I kind of feel, right? Maybe in the universe, it's interesting, right? I kind of, I, I have chills when I look at this because it's like saying free yourself. This is unacquainted love, but please enjoy your holiday time. Oh my God, we love this. Let go of control issues, Cancer. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. And bottom of the deck, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So it's like the universe happy, saying happy holidays and the happier you get, the more you have. You open up, right? And you attract new love and new emotions. And yeah, that is a confirmation. Let go of control issues, right? And... And even, even with the wheel of fortune in reverse, right, resisting the path, resisting the process, resisting the cycle and the endings, that's exactly the same message, right? We are resisting something and they are not for us, um, Cancer. They are so not for us. Now let's see abundance. You never must be kidding me because we have it twice, the Empress and abundance, and it has, you have it in your energy. Um, this is guidance, so you have to focus on it, and um, this is your main goal at this time. It's also kind of saying, in this ending, that is abundance, and that is harmony, yin and yang. Do what makes you whole and complete, um, and in harmony with the elements around you, right? You have abundance, yin and yang, it's kind of like... Um, it is spiritual abundance too, right? Uh, that's yin and yang, and that's... Um, you know, um, your masculine and feminine side, your inward energy and outward energy, having like this harmony and an abundance in balance between the two of them. Um, and again, can be you and your internal world. I love this even more. We have spiritual maturity, abundance, yin and yang, and spiritual maturity. It is a time, right, where we uh, think about what this year was and what is, um, you know, what we want to focus on uh, in 2021. It, al it also has this energy of focusing on the lessons and the spiritual maturity that's, that this situation brought. Um, and while freeing yourself, right, it's a, it's a way of working on your spiritual maturity and if it was not enough, guess what? The distorted masculine. 
kind of like the universe um, confirming that they might be um, in need of help, right? That's a distorted. They might uh, need to work on themselves in some way, shape or form. And we focus on our own growth and inner peace and intimacy. You do have intimacy, the energy that we picked up. Unrequited love for yourself, intimacy. Somebody might be using you for sex, cancer, for physical um, connection, and we actually need more, deserve more. Um, and no thank you, right? Uh, so I would say so many blessings in an ending that probably you don't appreciate it as it should be appreciated. This is how it feels. Now let's see the energies we need to put back into the flow and I love pride. Pride, right? Somebody walked all over you and you forgot your worth. So I love myself and I see myself in everyone, right? We don't judge them, we are not above, we are not below, we are just like everyone else. And I honestly I feel like we should take our pride back in a sense that, you know, started to um, feel worthy. And for some of you, it's about pride and humility. It's a strong message for somebody there. So you have developed the loving awareness that you and everyone else are on the same page. Are the same, sorry, but on different path. So I see myself in everyone and we are all the same, but on different paths. So I don't know if you feel like judging them. I don't know if that is something, right, that you have in your energy and... Um, and it's just not, um, you know, of high vibration. It's something to look into. We have happiness. How about we focus on happiness? I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. So means to be happy. What makes you happy? This is all about your, um, you know, in your toolkit, in your toolbox. What makes you happy? And going back to that and pulling something. And we do have the devil in reverse and now we have surrender your addictions. So for that cancer that I'm picking up the energy, now it's the time actually, right? Um, to work on your happiness and maybe because we are not happy, we are um, giving in to all kinds of, um, you know, replacements for happiness. Like a chemical replacement of happiness, right? That's a drug. Um, I don't want to get into it, but hey. Whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. And bottom of the deck, surrender defensiveness. Defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out. Then offer a clear non-defensive non response. Okay. So let's have some general guidance. Sometimes it's um, career related. Sometimes it's just connected to the situation. We'll see. So we have listened to your intuitive feelings. We know already, right? Your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine. So you know you have the answer. You know all this is exactly what you thought it was. Talk to your angels. Instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance. And bottom of the deck, law of attraction. Relationships and activities that you once enjoyed are now changing as you become more sensitive and aware of energies. I love this. Listen to your intuition, what you talk about, what you attract, right? What you speak about is coming your way. You make it, you turn it into existence. So, page of swords, uh, and uh, the Empress, if we speak about abundance, we attract abundance, right? And you have twice the energy of abundance there. So Cancer, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I wanted to stay strong and safe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.